Hey, Miss Ad. I'm Lori, and I'll be your nurse today. I'm a student at College of Costa Georgia, and I'll be doing your cardiac assessment today, okay? All right. I have a few questions for you. First of all, can you tell me what the day is? October 4th. Okay. And how old are you? 19. Okay, good. Can you tell me a few things about you and, and your habits and stuff? Um, are you having any chest pains? Mm -hmm. How about shortness of breath? No. Okay, do you have to use extra more than one pillow to sleep at night? You do? Is that for, what do you use more than one pillow? Mm -hmm. To be comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. How about, um, do you have any uh, cough? Okay, okay. Um, do you tire out easily? No? All right, so everything's there. How, do you ever notice any ashiness in your skin, like your skin look pale, or your nails look blue and pale sometimes? No, okay. How about, um, are you taking any medications? No, Do you ever notice any swelling in your hands or your feet? Never. Okay, good. Um, how about um, heart disease? Have you ever been treated for heart disease? No, not at all. How about anybody in your family? Do they have heart disease? Mm -hmm. Who is that? Your grandmother. Okay. And we'll get back to further questions about your family. Do you get up at night and use the bathroom go urinate? Yes. Yes. How often? Twice a night, and that's your normal pattern. No change recently. Okay. Um, do you have? Uh, do you exercise? Tell me about that. Yeah, once in a while. How often is once in a while? Like two. Or three times. Two or three times a week. Okay, good. 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 Do you smoke? No. Drink alcohol? No. Okay. Have you ever smoked? No. Okay. And medications, I asked you that. Did you take any medications? Mm -hmm. No. All right, so um, we'll go back to your family history. Do your, does anybody in your family or your grandmother have high blood pressure? Mm -hmm. And how about diabetes? Yes. Okay. Do your grandmother uh, exercise? No. Okay. Um, and does she have high, do you know if she has high cholesterol? She does, okay. And how old is your grandma? 56. 56, okay. All right. So for right now, that's enough questions. But from this point, I'll be touching and palpating and listening, inspecting to see um, what's going, what else is going on with your body, okay? All right. So for starters, I'll be assessing, looking at you. So if you could take your hair and put, yes, put it back so I can see. And um, looking at your skin, you don't have any bumps or lesions or any lumps that's actually visual, okay? And also looking at your your veins, you and see that on your arteries there's no um, distension and your arteries there. And looking at your chest wall, it's not like you could see your heart beating there because looks smooth, the rhythm looks smooth, everything looks great from there, okay. Um, are you having any pain anywhere Do you know of? So can you sit back in your chair for me so I can look at you? Okay, good. So everything looks normal like it should be, your heart's not pounding like you're anxious or anything. So you don't have a history of anxiety, do you? Okay, so what else I'm, I'm here, from here I'm going to actually do some touching and listening um, to your body, okay? I wanna listen to your your temporal pulse here. You have different pulses all over your body. And here I can feel the carotid pulse. And it's being normal. And a smooth rhythm. Okay, let me check here. I don't feel any bruise or thrills going on your skin. 
there. So the, all that looks good from what I could see here. If your body still, your body have all the pulses, which include here, you have what, what, what is called a brachial pulse. You also have pulse in your radial and your ulna. And you also have pulse here, which is your femoral pulse. And your pedal pulse is here. And then we also have pulses in, in your um in your foot. Your popliteal pulse is here, I'm sorry. And then speak the pulse down here. So what I'm gonna do here is um have you get in the bed and I'll actually further assess you, okay? Thank you. feel good and I already checked here I didn't feel any bruises or thrills there and I'm going to actually look at your heart and feel for the different areas of your heart and talk about the, the S1 and S2 nodes but first I'm going to I'm going to identify these and it's your pericarm pericarm is here I feel like like the outside of your your heart. I feel it around. And I'm gonna have you undo your bra there so I can assess, further assess. Thank you, ma'am. So here mind that your heart sits in your body upside down so the S1 is spelled down here the S2 is spelled up here up here we have the aorta area and this is the pulmonic area the mitral area the tricuspid area and the herbs herbs point is that what it actually is called so we have those points there um, on the 
the aortic area, I can feel the heartbeat there, and I'm going to listen to it. Mitral area. This is where the S1 is located, and it's louder. And the rhythm is regular. Stay here in the tricuspid area. So here, here in this point right here, where it's the herbs point, I can hear both. The S1 and S2, this is where I hear the love dove. When I was listening earlier, this right here is the S2 area. And I only hear the, the dove. The dove here. And this is where I hear the uh, love dove down this side. This is the S1 and it's heard a little bit louder, okay? Normally I would not um, do an assessment through the person's shirt or gown. I would actually have them remove that, their clothing so I can hear the less, um, less noise um, in that area. So what I, can, what I have seen from here, and, and listen, and we, I understand that this is We'll look to the apical folds here, and that is the S1 area, the apical pulse. And you feel it, and I'm gonna go. regular it's um I don't feel any irregular beats there and now I'm going to check you for any extra 
listening for any murmurs. You see. Okay, I want you to tip that down. Your skin is warm. The touch and everything. For me, dry the touch. She's got a regular rhythm. And I listen to her every compulse and I identify. This in this area here we will actually be looking listening to the sister. The sister me and the God. And I'm gonna be listening to find out if she has any murmur. So what I'm gonna have you do, Miss A D, turn it over to your left side for me, please. Thank you. All right, your arm to the side, please. This is her sisterly ear and the distal. You remember that the, the bottom of the heart is up top. At the top of the heart, the top of the heart is actually here. This is her aorta area. This no, this is the aorta area. This is the punic area. This right here is the herbs point, and here, down here, is your mitral point, the mitral area on the left, on this side. This is the tricuspid, just get it right. This is the mitral, the tricuspid, the herbs, herbs point, um, the aortic is here, and the pulmonary area is here. So, as I what I can find. Miss A.D. is normal. <laughs> she doesn't have any heart issues right now. And as long as she keeps exercising and not smoking and drinking, she should continue to have a healthy heart. Thank you. Have a good night.